three years ago, I won, won an event on the North Shore, being the, being the oldest guy to ever win a QS event. You know, I, I was happy, you know, when it, just to win an event. Driving back from, from Sunset Beach to my house at Pipeline, you know, it should have been the, one of the happiest times of my life, but the only thing I could think about was driving my car into, into a pole or something. The hard, hard thing to deal with when, it should be, when you should be happy and, and you have no idea what's going on in your brain, it was just, just a thought and more than, than wanting to actually end my life. You know, I've been dealing with that in the last couple of years and, you know, fortunately for me, I have a really good people around me uh, to help me out and change my diet and change a lot of things in my life and um, been actually doing, doing pretty good. I mean, it's, it's still there at times, but at least, at least I know how to deal with it a lot better. At first, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to go see a doctor. I didn't want to be put on, on medication. I reached out on social media, the best place to, to get good results was from, from real people. Once I reached out, I think within five minutes I got a phone call from Kieran Perot, who's a good friend of mine and, and works for the WSL, and they, they had reached out and said that they had just got some, um, some sports psychologists that they wanted me to go and see. So I flew in and met, met with them a couple of times. It was huge, you know, to sit down and talk to someone. For me, I'm kind of prideful, you know, so for me to reach out and ask for help was, he, you know, was, was really hard. I sat down and talked to him, and when I, when I left the meeting, I actually felt good. I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like something was wrong with me. I actually felt like somebody was just trying to help me get through something. I encourage people to, to reach out. Depression is an illness that I know a lot of people deal with, and a lot of people don't know how to reach out and, and get that help. But, and when you finally do reach out and you get that help, you feel so much better. Better to deal with it with, with people that love you, that care what happens to you, rather than sitting in the house and, and letting your mind you know, run rampant. I have grandchildren now and you know, I, wanna, I wanna live a good life. I wanna be able to you know, have fun with my kids and, and watch my grandkids go, grow old. You know, I don't, you know, I wanna live life. You know, when I was younger, I was like, ah, you know, if I die young, I'll be fine. But you know, that all changes when you get older. You know, knowledge is everything. And you know, I want to be able to pass that on to my grandkids as well. I work with the Maliola Foundation. We take kids with uh, genetic diseases, surfing, mainly cystic fibrosis, because basically when they're sick, they get to, they get to go to the hospital and they give them the saline treatment that helps break up the mucus in their chest so they can breathe better. We take them surfing, which is basically the same treatment, except for, you know, they get to get in the water and it's a lot healthier for them. We do that pretty much all year long. And, you know, that's, that's what I've been kind of doing lately. I visit a lot of hospitals with, with kids. As much as I like to complain about, you know, the depression, how bad my life seems at times, nothing will change your life or your mind more than walking in and seeing kids that basically don't have long to live, sitting there smiling and laughing. And then there you are thinking how bad your life is and you, know, you have this kid that doesn't have any time, that doesn't, doesn't even have, they're not even worried about it. So that will, will put you right in your place. They don't take anything for granted, you know, Five minutes from now, it's, they're not concerned with five minutes. They're, all they're concerned with is what's going on in their life right now. They'll change your protect, perspective on life. I want to help any kid, you know, you know any, any kid that I can help, you know, to, to gain the knowledge of doing what they want to do, you know, be it golf, surf, skateboarding, you know, a, any kid, you know, even if, if you have nothing to do with sports, you know, you want to, I want to be able to help any kid just, just get through life. Life in itself is, is, is hard, and especially, you know, the kids, the kids here in Hawaii, you know, we live, we live on this little rock in the middle of the Pacific. For them to know that there's a world that's much bigger than this, this rock is, is huge. If I can help them realize that, then, you know, then the world can really be, you know, whatever they want it to be. The thing that I learned about depression is, right, if you sit, if you sit in the house by yourself, your mind can really get the best of you but I get up every day at like four or five o'clock and literally I get out of get out of bed put my clothes and straight to work out. I even brush my teeth before I mean I just literally like want to get it over and done with and then I come back and I do my shower I get ready and then my day's my day's so much better when I do. I'll run for two hours 
yeah, and then go back home and bike for another hour and a half or two hours. If you can just get out, even if, it, even if it's just for half an hour, you know, go for a walk or, you know, be with people, do something productive, I think it, it will help a lot. I, I think the, the, the working out part helps, helps a lot with the brain because it, it does, you know, release some endorphins and make you feel better. Exercise is huge and I, I think, you know, everybody suffering should, should try and get out and do some kind of exercise. The earlier, the better.